Hey y'all, I'm Damon Oates, founder of Deco Exchange. Who else has heard that crafting is just a hobby? I turned my love of crafting into a thriving multi seven figure company, surrounded myself in an amazing community, and met some amazing business owners along the way. I'm here to show everyone that makers mean business. What is going on, you guys? It is Parker here again. Another episode of the Makers Mean Business podcast. Y'all, in the last episode, I talked a little bit about Wreath Makers Live and all of the speakers and all of the things that we talked about. And I said that I was going to go through each of the speakers. And between the last episode and, and me recording this one, I was thinking maybe I should try to get them back on, not on the stage, but on, on the podcast. And I figured a nice, easy thing to do would be to just ask them for a couple audio clips. So I'm going to do something a little different than what I usually do. And let, let me back up a little bit. The first thing I'm going to do, or the first episode I'm going to do in our, it's not a trilogy, in our series of episodes about Wreath Makers Live, is I'm going to cover each speaker. So this one we're starting off with, I'm, I'm trying to do them in the same order that they were on stage, just so I can make sure that I get everyone, because that's the last thing I want to do is forget someone. And I feel like I probably forgot someone on the last uh, the last episode. I know Melly Mel was on stage and she spoke all about in person events in the in the form of um, wreath retreats or man, what is the correct term for this? Make and takes, I guess. You guys have all probably heard of uh, painting with a twist, where you you know have a girls' night, go grab some wine, and go paint. Um, Mel talked all about doing that, so I'm hoping that I, I <laughs> I'm hoping that I I brought that up. Either way, we're gonna definitely be covering what she talked about a little bit. While I don't have too too much experience in that arena, I definitely have a, a few things to say about it. But as for today's episode, I have quite a good clip from Roberto. Um, Y'all, Roberto is a good friend of ours both me and Damon. Uh, I, I'll mention him a lot, or at least a little bit whenever I cover my episode of, of what I talked about at Wreath Makers Live. Um, but Roberto is really well known for um, sponsorships, networking, kind of just building relationships with, I don't want to say the right people, but building powerful relationships. And you'll hear all about it in, in his clip. He's got a bunch of really great information, you guys. Uh, spoiler alert, I already listened to it, so I, I knew exactly uh, what you guys are about to get and what you're about to listen to. But I'm going to just go ahead and let him jump right into it with the clip, and I'll, I'll catch you guys right after this. So make sure you listen to what he has to say. He's got some really great info coming at you. Well, hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Makers Mean Business podcast. I am personally super excited that Parker's bringing this back because I always love to be able to listen to people and other leaders, other creators, other business owners and say, hey, like what's really working in your business? What did you figure out that I haven't figured out and what went wrong? So I can hopefully learn from that mistake and try not to make that same mistake. And so first of all, Parker, thank you for inviting me back to do this and for you know, bringing the podcast back and deciding that, hey, like we should do this recap of Wreath Makers Live and all the Wreath Makers Live speakers. So y'all, if you have not been the Wreath Makers Live, one of the things that I love about the event, I love the way that uh, the event has been curated, is that it is about community. It's about other people that are really doing the same thing, whether they be makers or crafters or wreath makers or wreath makers who are saying or makers that are saying hey let me start a business or let me i've made all these wreaths let me learn how to sell them online coming together to stop doing business alone to say how do we go forward together and so i'm really excited about the vision that damon and parker had to bring the wreathing community get together to partner with julie on that and say hey like let's just make this thing happen so I actually got to speak, as Parker said, on day one on collaborations. And whether we realize it or not, you know, we've kind of been collaborating our entire lives. We've been partnering our entire lives. But yet somehow when it comes to business, we've been taught as a society, taught as a whole, primarily for the most part, that's just like, hey, Everybody's got to do their own thing, and there has to be a winner, and there has to be a loser, and there can't be two winners, right? And one of the things that I love that 
Parker and Damon have done with Deco Exchange, with Makers University, is say, hey, you know what? We all can win. Every single one of us can win, and there's the ability for us to win in a way that's right for us and feels good for us too. And so uh, I got to talk about collaborations. Collaborations at their simplest form, and really if we look at the dictionary, really, uh, it's to work jointly on an activity, to produce something or to create something. And that's really what I taught about at Wreath Makers Live is how people can work together to produce something or to create something. And you see collaborations all around y'all. You know, if you're a fan of the podcast, if you're a fan of Deco Exchange, you have seen Damon and the creative coaches do the mantle challenges. Y'all have seen them do a Christmas challenge. You have seen, you know, Damon and Christine do the, the build the website challenge and then helping creatives and makers be able to build the website. And you have seen other leaders be able to co-create and host classes together, whether they be virtual classes or in-person classes. And a great example of that is, you know, Tammy Hodges and uh, Melly Mel, where they've been, you know, able to co-create classes together uh, over the years as well. And I know Damon and other leaders have as well. And so collaborations really about how do we stop doing it alone? And I love collaboration because to me, collaboration is kind of like a game of hide and seek, uh, meaning you know a partner's out there, you know the prizes out there, you know, just like in hide and seek, you know there's one, two, three, however many people out there hiding, and we get to go out and, and find those people. And each one of the speakers at Wreath Makers Live did such an amazing job, and what they shared really was not only amazing content that people could implement right away, but also different ways that people could collaborate within that actual medium, within that actual platform. And I'm just gonna cover a couple here real quick. Um, you know, Parker asked me if I'd say a few words and y'all, I'm the first one up. So I didn't know what that meant. And so I didn't know if that was like, two minutes. I didn't know if that was 20 minutes. So I'm just going to be here. And I'm just going to share with y'all. So the first, I guess the two that I'll talk about are this is, you know, Parker did an amazing training on video and repurposing your content, like what to do with video, how to repurpose your content. And, you know, I know that there are some people that think that like they don't want to do video. I'm one of those people, y'all. I don't love Facebook live. I don't love hitting that go live button and I avoid it like the plague. Now I know I should do it and I'm trying to get better, but you know, the reality is, is that trying is really just talking about it and I just haven't done it and I need to, but <laughs> y'all like, what, what is the guy talking about? But, um, you know, Parker really talked about how to repurpose that content and you could collaborate on your uh, training with people, right? You could collaborate on a Facebook Live. You could interview somebody. You could do a uh, podcast guesting. You could, you know, there's so many different ways to actually get out there with your content and be able to do this. And, you know, that may be, like I said, uh, a live in somebody's Facebook group, doing a live on Instagram together, doing a free content type of training to another group. You know, let's say you've got an amazing skill that you've developed a special type of bow or a special technique or a special type of design, you could go teach that in somebody else's group and collaborate with them to be able to give them more content for their people. But also, like as you do that, more people get to know you, get to know who you are. You could partner with others, you know, to create an online event. And this video piece right? Whether it's the online event, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Instagram, that content can be repurposed to use over and over and over again. And when you collaborate with other people, you don't have to make it all yourself, which is awesome. The other great part about that is, you know, if any of y'all are in Makers University, you know that Christine Jerry's done some training on SEO, right? She also partnered with Damon and collaborated with Damon on being able to do a class to help you be able to build a website. And so even if you start with that video, you can then repurpose those as well for your blogs, right? And those help your SEO and the other person that 
helped you actually create that content as well. And so collaboration doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't mean giving up equity in somebody's business. It doesn't mean that, you know, you can't make any money that they can't make any money. In fact, not all collaboration is about money. And I just want to tell you about one quick other collaboration type and give you an invitation, give you a, a challenge per se. And it's this, you know, if you have been a fan of Deco of Change, if you have been following the Makers Mean Business podcast and something you learned on the podcast or something that you learned in Makers University or something that you learned from Deco Exchange from any of the free amazing content that Damon Parker put out into the world, I want you to send them a testimonial. I want you to send them a note and say, hey, I went through this challenge and this is the amazing result that I got for my business or for my community. Or, hey, in Makers University, you taught me whatever it is they taught you, whether it was you know how to set up your Etsy shop or how to price properly or whatever it may have been. And I went and did that and this is the result I got. And this last thing, this is something that I call a cereal box partnership, okay? And what it really means is you know, uh, at the time of recording of this, the the Oli Tokyo Olympics just finished. And, you know, we know when people get the gold medal at the Olympics, where do they usually end up? On that Wheaties cereal box, right? And so when you go and you have a win with a coach, with a trainer, uh, from somebody that you just, you know, maybe watch their Facebook Live, like maybe, like I said, you were on the Deco Exchange Facebook page and you watched something that Parker or Damon or another one of the creative or business coaches taught you, either there or in Makers University, and you were just like, oh my gosh, that was amazing, I got this result, email them, let them know, because just like an Olympian that gets that gold medal because they won can be featured on a cereal box, you too could possibly be featured on the Makers University page. It's just like, hey, you know, so-and-so went through Makers University, learned this, and they got the, this result, and it gets your name, it gets your business name out there in front of more people. You know, offer to be interviewed by Parker here on the podcast. You know, reach out to Parker and be like, hey, Parker, I learned this, and, you know, maybe we could do an interview on the podcast to talk about how other makers, how other creatives can do this. And if, you know, maybe you have a YouTube channel, give a shout out to the people that you've worked with and absolutely learned something from. So, y'all, I hope that this helps and uh, I really <laughs> hope uh, that this is what Parker had in mind as he started this series. Um, if it's not, he'll tell me and, you know, we'll redo something else. If it is, awesome, hallelujah. Um, but y'all, I hope that y'all have an amazing day. Um, we know when you have people like Damon and Parker that just love their community so much and believe in their community so much and like would literally do anything that they just like call people and be like, hey, can you do this? Um, it's something really special. So um, keep up everything that y'all are doing in your businesses that's amazing and getting you the results that you want. And when you find those places that you're just like, man, I, I feel alone or I feel stuck or maybe I'm not getting the, the result that I want right now, you know, just remember that, that you don't have to do business alone. There's someone there that cares. There's someone there that listens. And there are people there that can help you to not make the same mistakes that we made in our own journey. So hope you'll have an awesome day and uh, look forward to seeing y'all soon, whether it be the podcast and one of uh, the Deco Exchange Facebook groups or who knows, maybe a future event. I'll chat with y'all soon. Y'all, that was some really good stuff from Roberto. I mean, I, I it, it brings back so many so many memories of different events and y'all i've i've heard roberto speak probably five or six times now and he's he's just a, a great a great friend a great speaker a great person and he has a really really important message and i, I think everyone may have gotten something a little different than than me or or each other but the biggest thing that i hear no matter what roberto says right no matter what he says I always hear the same message and it's, it's all like wrapped around networking and getting to know people and kind of just 
making connections, right? And I know he said that a couple times in in his in his clip, and he talked a lot about not doing business alone. But Wreathmakers Live is a perfect example of not doing business alone. I know the majority of the people that went to Wreathmakers Live 2021, they were alone. They didn't go with anyone. They showed up without having met anyone in person. Um, and I, I, I touched on this on, st on stage when I spoke right after Roberto spoke and I challenged everyone to, to leave with a friend. If you don't leave with any kind of other information, no inspiration, no extra ribbon, no nothing, leave with a friend. And honestly, I think that's one of the most important things that we as Deco Exchange, as the Makers University, as all of these things, I think it's one of the things that we've done extremely well in our business. When we go to events, Damon and I, we're very strategic, right? You guys know we're, we're always, um, you know, we're always working the business and, and doing all the things. But one thing we always did was we made sure to split up. We made sure not to, not to be comfortable just hanging out with each other. Um, and that's not because we don't, that's not because we don't want to hang out and have a great time together and all that stuff. But we wanted to meet as many people as possible. We wanted to learn as much as we possibly could about who was in the room because you never know. You never know. Um, I, I'm sure you guys heard this on the the last episode that Roberto was on, but his his mom followed us long before we even met Roberto and Warren. Um, we kind of we kind of met them through networking in a way, if you think about it. And honestly, you guys, I'm going to leave you with this this one message because I, I know uh, I kind of try to keep the episode short just because I, I feel like that's kind of the attention span and, and how that's how I like to consume content. So just make sure whether you're at a business event, whether you're at a party, whether you're hanging out with your friends, build the value in a relationship. Because there are so many times I can look back and think of all of the times that a, a relationship has got us where we are today in our business. I mean, the entire Makers University coaching staff are people that we met through our community. These weren't just experts that we hired. These were people that we knew that we got to meet. Warren and Roberto are people we met at, a, at an event that we networked with. The, the list goes on and on. I mean, Julie and Damon, the, the co-hosts of Wreath Makers Live, they met at a, someone else's event. They didn't even know each other. It's crazy to think, but you guys, two of the prominent business owners in their niche that had never met, met at an event, networked, and then collaborated to build something like Wreath Makers Live. And I, it's just so, it's so inspiring. It's so cool. And it's just a great message that Roberto brought onto the stage. And it was a, a great thing to kick off the whole event with you guys. I'm going to leave you with that. Do me one big favor and make sure to subscribe to our podcast on Apple music or wherever you get your podcasts.